How you doing? My name is Stephen King. I am the founder and owner of The Rain Shop. And welcome into the Store Run series where we highlight businesses and vendors that are in our store. And today I'm very happy to introduce to you a good friend of mine, Solomon Oyeye Me. He owns multiple businesses. He's multi-talented, so I'll let him introduce himself. How you doing? I am Solomon Oyeye Me Jr. Um, I'm the owner of Green Ideas and Wellness, as well as co-owner of GS and GIW Ohio. Um, Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely, man. Glad to have you in, man. So what exactly is GS Ohio? So GS and GIW is a company um, that I formed with a friend of mine uh, from high school, mm. and we uh, actually sell different products uh, in the, the medical dispensaries here in Ohio. Okay. Now, Green Ideas and Wellness is my own company. Um, it's it's a uh, advocacy um, production as well as products, and uh, we just, I've, I've been doing a lot of things uh, in the uh, cannabis medicinal space, mm -hmm. but just doing a lot of holistic things as well as just uh, multiple things. Okay, um, and I knew that about him, but uh, what are some benefits to uh, medical cannabis? Well, uh, the biggest benefit is for the people that are trying to get off of the opioids, because mm -hmm. the opioids, is, is, it's a very big crisis here. Um, in Ohio and in, mm -hmm. in America. Um, so that's one of the benefits as well as healthful benefits because um, people are learning now about the different uses of hemp and uh, marijuana, you know, and, and how it can be helpful uh, holistically for people nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, as well as it was back in the days, but now it's been regulated so that people can actually um, utilize it as a, a alternative medicine. Okay. And uh, Solomon is, a, is an absolute hustler. He, he owns these businesses, uh, but the business that he has in the rain shop is actually um, Alpha Lobby's uh, African Sorrel. And it's actually a great tasting uh, herbal tea. I'll let him kind of go into what's in it, what makes it taste so good. Because mm -hmm. when you make it, the actual tea turns red. Oh yeah. It's oh, a yeah. red tea, so it's really, really good tea. Um, and it has a, a feeling about it that kind of makes you feel like you're you're at peace, you're calm. So that's that's what I get from it. So, so tell me about this tea. So uh, you know, green ideas and wellness. Again, my first product that I put out was the actual uh, hibiscus sorrel tea. Um, mm -hmm. It's an African sorrel. The actual uh, tea is uh, actually from the South Africa region, um, and that's where we source our actual organic teas from. Uh, we also just this is a tea that I've drank as a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, my family's from Nigeria originally, and uh, my stepdad is from Senegal. And this is like a, a tea that you would drink um, at any of the West African mm -hmm. restaurants. It's a, it's a hibiscus, so it actually has anti-inflammatory uh, as well as no caffeine. It's, it's actually, like you said, it's, it, it, it's a calming mm -hmm. tea, uh, and it's a helpful and healthful tea, you know? Absolutely. And what I love about it is it tastes good with honey, regular sugar, Splenda, blue pack, yellow pack, all the packs. So uh, it tastes very good no matter how you like tea, you can have it multiple ways. So it is very, very good. And it's right here in the rain shop. So when I started the rain shop, I reached out to my good friend uh, Solomon and I said, I don't have herbal tea. I don't have something that's going to be something we can put good in our bodies. So he was very willing to uh, come aboard and, and put his tea into the store. So we're very happy to have it. So what's the next thing for all your businesses and everything you have going on? So, um, you know, as you said, I do multiple things. Um, actually, we started in 2020 and 2021, we started doing um, uh, shows in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I actually throw events as well, and I'm into the production side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we actually uh, combine that with the culture uh, 
and and you know brought in uh, some legends. You know, I actually work with um, Jerobi from a tribe called Quest. He's mm -hmm. like one of our resident DJs, and okay. he also cooks the meals at some of the events because we have like it's a dinner, and then you have the show after yeah. the dinner. It's like a dinner meet and greet with artists, and then the following cool. day is kind of like shows where we also do a panel discussion because I have a podcast called Advocating with the Best in the Biz. Okay. And, um, you know, we talk with the different artists on the stage about their history and, you know, their, uh, you know, what they're into and what they're putting out. And, you know, it's, it's been a real helpful thing. You know? Yeah, good. And I've seen that online. Like, like uh, Solomon really shocks me every time that we, uh, I see him because he, uh, he, he's been with Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I've seen him on, uh, on live with Donnell Rollins. Talib Kweli, Common, Lady of Rage, just to name a few. So he's been with a lot of people uh, that we look up to that are celebrities. So how do you know these people? How do you connect with them? And what do they give to you to kind of help you well, through all this? When I started uh, like in entertainment, like in the late 90s, I actually am an artist. You know, I, I went by King Solomon. I still go by King Solomon or Solomonic. That's what people know me as. Mm -hmm. um, so late 90s, early 2000s, I was part of the collective in Cincinnati uh, dealing with like Talib Kweli, high tech, mm -hmm. mood. You oh, know, yeah, yeah. The one of battle click. So okay. I was part of that whole fold of like, you know, late 90s, early 2000s independent music. Okay. And so I was on a, a label that was in Germany, but it had worldwide distribution. So, okay. you know, as an artist, I actually charted with a lot of people and a lot of folks are like contemporaries, but mm -hmm. you know, we grow older and we do different things and we move on and pivot into different, right. different modes. So it's just crazy because uh, 2020 kind of was the, uh, 2020 was the, 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 the factor that made me be a little bit more uh, uh, closer with friends, you mm -hmm. know? Um, the pandemic happened. Um, Talib was in uh, Yellow Springs doing some stuff with Dave Chappelle, and he invited me up for uh, the beginning of the whole uh, uh, summer camp mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, in 2020, you know, because literally the whole world was shut down, and the only place that was open was Yellow Springs. That's right. Uh, Dave that's, Chappelle, that's, that's, that's right. a fact. You know? That's right. That's so, right. You know, that's kind of like been the common thread where I met a lot of people and, you know, um, we made a lot of great memories mm -hmm. and we all still kind of like keep in touch, that kind of thing. And, you cool. know, entertainment is entertainment. But again, I also throw shows. So a lot of the folks that that I'm contemporaries and friends with, you know, I bring them to my shows and, you and, know, and they still come out. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. And I love that. So me personally, I'm a Dave Chappelle fan. So is there anything that you could tell us about Jason Pell that we don't know as the public? Something that you would know as being a friend to him, being around him? What's something that we don't know, but you would know that you wouldn't mind telling the folks out there? I mean, I think a lot of people know, you know, he's just a down to earth, mm -hmm. great, good person, you know, and his mm -hmm. intentions are, yo, if you're a friend and you're, you know, we're, if you're cool and, and we relate, even if we don't really relate, I'm at least going to listen to your voice and we can come to a common ground. So right. one thing I learned about him is like diplomacy is, is, is his diplomacy is amazing. You right. Know what I mean? right. Like, and he's really a, um, an amazing individual. Good. Good. You know? That's, that's cool. Uh, well, I'm glad to have Solomon on here. Uh, but his, uh, his tea is, uh, Afalabi Sorrell, and he's from Nigeria. I wore my African uh, today to represent. Afalabi is my middle name. That's his middle name. That's my middle name. So, so you know, I literally made, put this together and formulated it and <laughs> came with the oomph. That's right. right. So it's very, very personal. So make sure you guys check it out. It's very good. Uh, he is in my store, Solomon. Uh, thank you for coming on here for my fourth episode of uh, Store Run Series. Yes, sir. Make sure you guys come check this out. It tastes phenomenal. Signing out, Store Run Series. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro.